Hiya, my name's Mark, I'm a DJ instructor at All Star Entertainment. Today I'm going to show you how you can use Touch Oscillator to control Tractor Pro. Right then, first you're going to need to download from the App Store a copy of Touch Oscillator. It cost me $2.99, it's a really cool app, you should definitely check it out. Um, for your app, you're going to need a template. I got my template from this website, ipad dj nullc Dot com. The template that I'm using today is from the iPad section. I got the 4 deck iPad control, it cost me $5.99. If you look down here, there's some screenshots from the template, and you can see that there's controls for your mixer, there's a jog wheel, there's looping functions, and effects functions. So there's pretty much every control that you'll need within this template. I've had a go with it and it is pretty good. Right, also what you're going to need is you're going to need something called Touch Oscillators Bridge. If you go to hexler.net, where it says software, scroll down where it says Touch OSC. Click on there. Scroll down the page and you'll see Touch OSC Bridge. Download that and throw it into your applications file and that is ready to go. You need that so you can translate the MIDI messages from your iPad into something that the computer can understand. Right, once you've got those bits, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to share the template that you've just downloaded with your iPad. The easiest way to do that is if you click on iTunes, connect your device via a USB port, click on it and you'll see this page come up. If you click on apps, which is over here, and then scroll down to the bottom, you'll see file sharing. If you click on OSC, and then you've got the option of adding a new Touch OSC document. So you click on add in your downloads folder, there'll be the file that you just downloaded from iPad DJ. If you click on iPod iPad 4 deck version 3.1, click into the four four deck documents, and you'll see this file here. Touch Control 4 Deck version 3.1.touchOSC. If you click on open that, I'm going to press cancel because I've already done it. But if you press open, it'll go into your Touch OSC documents. Mine's here. Right then. Then once you've added it to there, press sync so you know it's definitely gone across. Right then, once that's synced up, what you're going to want to do is go across. Oh, before we've done that, it's probably best to set up your Wi-Fi network. So if you go to the top of your page, click on your network tab, go down and create a new network, then press create a computer to computer network. Mine's called Mark's MacBook Pro, so I'm going to press create. Right then, once that's been created, Go across to your iPad. Click on settings. Click on general. Then you'll see the network tab. Click on there. Where it says Wi Fi, press that. The iPad is now giving me the option of joining a network called Mac's MacBook Pro. So I'm going to click on there. Once that's joined, go back to my home screen. Right, on the home screen, I'm going to open my application called Touch OSC. Right, I'm going to click on where it says Layout. If you check where it says iPad, the one, two, three, four, the fifth option down is going to say Touch Control 4 Deck version 3.1. Click on there. 
Right then. Then click on Options. Where it says OSC, click on Stay Connected, turn that on, and Send Z Messages, turn that on also. Right, if you come out of there, what we need to do now is turn on the MIDI bridge so that so that the iPad can translate its messages to something that the MacBook can read. Okay, so I've got my Touch OSC bridge in my launch pad. So if I click on that, the only reason that you know that that is now running is because you'll get this little B up here in the top corner. There's no other windows that tell you that it's working apart from that there. So if that's there, no, it's on. Right then, if you go back to your iPad now, click on Touch Oscillator, and you'll see at the top in the left-hand corner it says Connections. The second option down is MIDI Bridge. So if you click on there, press Enable, turn that on, and it'll say Found Hosts, Mark's MacBook Pro. Click on there. Right, then, while that's connecting, if you go back to your computer and launch Tractor. Right, then, once you've launched Tractor, come over here to where it says Preferences, which will open up this window. At the bottom of this window you'll see a section called controller manager click on there and we are going to add a TSI file so where it says add click on import if you got your downloads folder or the place that you've stored the file that we've just downloaded and then select this TSI file if you open that up Before you close this window down, it's best to check your in and out ports. If you click on here, it wants to say touch OSC bridge for both the in and the out ports. If you've got any other devices connected, make sure that they're not connected to touch OSC or all ports. If they are selected correctly, you will get problems running this app. Okay, so close that down. Go back to your iPad. If you press done, you'll see that now the iPad is controlling tractor. I've just been wiggling the faders about there. Let me um, load a track and we'll see if can see if this works. Cool. Just trying out the EQs there. Pretty sharp and responsive. Right, at the top, we've probably got some hot cues. Sharp. Got some pitch bends. Oh no, that's for my um, pitch fader. Pitch bends, sync. Right, let's try some of these other, other pegs out. Right, and I've got some kill switches here, try those out. Cool, they work nice. Got a filter on this page. Nice. Hope that was helpful. Any questions, let me know. Thanks a lot, Mark.